I'm going to tell you a story as a child growing up in the South, especially concerning Florida, where I was born in a little uh, country town called Live Oak, Florida. And I was born in a little wooden shack in my grandmother's home. I was, every summer we went to visit my grandmother and we would stay for the entire summer. I remember going to Live Oak there and we were unable to go to the movie theater. We couldn't go in the front door. We had to go through the side door and we still had to pay the same amount of money that everybody else had to pay, but we were treated differently. And not only in Live Oak, Florida, it was really Segregation was in full force growing up in the 50s and the 60s and the 40s and the 30s and the 20s. But specifically during my era, which was like in, in, in the, uh, the late 50s and the, er, and, and the 60s, we were unable to participate in any activities. But we all seemed to have fun in our own environment because we were taught to love each other. Oh, by the way, my name is Gloria Provost. I was born October 3rd, 1947 in Live Oak, Florida. During the 60s, we had our own school. We had our own swimming pool. We had our own movie theaters. We had our own uh, parks and recreations areas. And we had fun growing up. But we didn't know the consequences of segregation until until I got to be a little bit older to realize that it was an unfair injustice to the American kids, uh, in, in, in specifically for black folks, okay? But all in all, um, our family was a very close-knit family, and my dad took the the, the opportunity to explain to us where we could not go, where we were not allowed to go, because for our own safe and for our own very own protection. And we love, we love going to the park and recreation department where all of our friends were. We enjoyed that. But as you got older, you realize that there was um, a stigma, you know, uh, that we were different. We were like, excuse me, Nana. not all human beings. What does that mean? Because we have young viewers obviously watching this, so they might want to know what segma means. I'm sorry, they might not want to know what? I didn't the word you just said, sorry. I Segregation? That means separation. Specifically during my time, it was separation of races, separation of people, separate in it and every instance that you did not co-mingle with other people other than your own color, as they say, your own skin color. So however, we were raised to respect people and we never disrespected our elders. We were raised to, to love everybody, be kind to people, and definitely be kind to our, 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 our elderly people. And my grandmother was a fierce little lady. She worked hard in the tobacco fields, the cotton fields. And I remember we would go with my grandmother when she had to go work in the field. And I, never, I would never forget working in the tobacco field, uh, uh, pulling big leaves of tobacco, which was notorious because it would always be steaming hot in Florida, and but she was a hard worker. She was a very petite lady, probably about 135 pounds or less, and a hard worker. She had she had nine children, and she raised all of her children by herself. My dad was a hard worker. He worked all his life in the cafeteria business, and he managed. We all managed. We never had McDonald's. We didn't go out to eat. We had a fully cooked meal every single day. Take our bath and go to bed. And that was basically it. So that's my story. Thank you. Here again, my name is Gloria Provost, and I'm recording this for my grandchildren 
Unity Provost, nine years old, and Kyberi Masai. And come over and say hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, my name's Kyberi Masai Rossum Thomas. I'm I was born I I was born in the USA, but um my culture comes from Africa. My my um the Maasai part of my name stands for the Maasai warriors in Africa. Yay! You guys, Are you? You guys obviously know me because I'm the founder of this channel, but there's some information you don't know about me. First, my culture comes from I'm actually a lot of cultures. Germany, India. Um, Sorry to break unity off, but I'm also <laughs> Japanese. Yeah, get away. Uh, anyways, Germany, mm -hmm. India, Africa, Jamaica, Mexico, Puerto Rico. I have a lot of cultures on my mom's side of the family and my dad's side of the family. But those are mostly mine. And my middle name means butterfly in Korean, Nabi. And my first name is named after my great-grandmother, Unity. And my other middle name, yes, I have two, Unity Nubby Gloria Provost. Gloria is named after this beautiful woman right here. Makes <laughs> <It's> me smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to get notified whenever we post. Thanks for watching, guys. Wait, bye. Wait. And we are we are going to give out free free we're gonna every time you hit that like and subscribe button for every single video we make you all of the people that are watching this yeah will get two hundred dollars oh, yeah. from me and me not her she's saving up <laughs> okay guys wait no Bye. Not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm still going. Now we have to wait because Kyrie is taking too long. Oh, just hurry up. Don't you guys dare put this on. I'll take it off. What you going, Kai? Well, I'm writing black lights. Well, we sent it to Florida. It's our it's family Florida? there. All right. But, yeah, I'm just sending it all to my team, Marianne. Okay. Last I'm thing. Black lives matter. Black yeah. lives matter. Black lives matter. Everyone chant it. Also, Make sure to like and subscribe. This is Unity Channel. Also, <laughs> and my channel. No, no. And okay. also oh. hit that little bell so you can get notified whenever all of us post. Okay, guys. And we're on. Don't turn off the video yet. But, <laughs> but next. I think the next time I, when I'm at Unity's house, I will probably be doing a gaming video with all of you. Get ready to play some Call of Duty. Oh, send this to Auntie Mary. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye, <laughs> Bye bros.